ago. I was born in Auckland in 1956 to Danish parents, Elsa and Bent Bruder. And Danish was my first language, which I um, spoke until, really until about the age of five, although we had, of course, we had English neighbours. And so by the time I went to school, I was pretty fluent in English for a five-year-old at least. Uh, after I went to school, my sister and I started speaking English in the home. So we had two languages going in the home as we were growing up. Uh, my parents continued to speak Danish and we answered in English and actually one of my big regrets is that my parents didn't encourage me to speak Danish at home because when I eventually went to Denmark as a young adult and needed to speak Danish it was a huge hurdle to overcome that self-consciousness of speaking Danish despite the fact that I understand it totally and I still to this day have that problem really. However, I did speak Danish when I eventually went to Denmark and um, a funny story was in England when I spoke to this Danish guy that I met and he said, oh, he said, you speak Danish like the Queen and of course the Queen is of my parents' generation and that is the kind of Danish I learnt. So the kind of Danish I learnt was frozen in the 1950s. So growing up in a Danish household, did I feel different at school from my school friends? Well, yes I did actually. But one thing that really annoyed me at school was that people tended to confuse Dutch and Danish. And they always said, oh you're Dutch. No, I'm not Dutch, there is a difference. What's the difference? <laughs> anyway, um, another thing about the school experience, my sister's name um, is Mayana. And when my mother went to school to enrol her at the age of five, she said, what's your daughter's name? And she said, Mariana. And the teacher said, oh, how do you spell that? She said, oh, M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And the teacher said, oh, you mean Mary Ann. Okay, and my mother was a shy young immigrant and didn't like to contradict her. And so she didn't say anything. So thereafter, all through her school days, my sister was called Mary Ann at school and Yana at home. It led to confusion. I never knew whether to call her Mary Ann or Yana actually in front of her friends. So that is one issue with growing up in a Danish household with New Zealand friends. Another big difference I noticed from my friends were their houses. Now, New Zealand houses that I went into as a child were very different from my home. Let's just say they weren't very hookily. And that was a huge difference. And the other thing, um, um, reflecting on the school experience, was that the school never ever asked me to write about my background, my culture. I never got that kind of assignment at school. They never asked, whereas that's a huge difference with my children going to school, who were um, frequently asked to describe their heritage. And so I think that's a real different a real change over time. Um, the other difference from my school friends and everyone else at school, right through my school days, was that I was a lot taller than everyone around me. Now that's probably not surprising because my father was 6'3 and my mother was 5'10 and my sister was my height as well. And I, it, it made me feel slightly odd but and it was only when I went to Denmark that I felt normal. My grandmother was also 5'10", my grandfather was 6'4", and my, all my cousins, female cousins, were my height as well. So I felt quite, for the first time in my life, I felt quite um, at home, you could say. And in fact, I met, at one time in my travels, I met this um, English, this, no, Danish girl in England. And she said, after we got talking, she said, I thought you looked Danish. And, you know, so it just shows that it's actually in the genes.